Hi boys and girls. I'm getting literally millions of questions every day about the culture wars, but this week I'm talking about something that's actually important, climate change. But before I do, please click the like button, subscribe and hit the bell to get notified of new shows every Trudy Tuesday. Now, there's greenhouse gases and global warming, and if you don't like that, there's the climate crisis, and if that isn't enough, there's the climate emergency. Phew, it's very complicated, and I've had to do more research than ever before, probably as much as 11 minutes to get all the answers. It seems that the Earth has warmed up by hundreds of degrees, uh, by two degrees since pre-industrial times, which is probably a couple of thousand years ago. A couple of hundred years ago. That doesn't sound like a lot, but that's in Celsius. And if you want to know what that is in Fahrenheit, there's a bit of multiplication involved. You multiply your age by two, and that tells you how many years behind the times you actually are. But let's not get bogged down in the science. Two degrees. One more and you could be a pop sensation. That's just Trudy's little joke. Frida Payne was one of the great soul singers, but Frida Grease was definitely the best 1970s pop singer, wasn't she? But climate change is no laughing matter, and I'll tell you why. Puffins. That's why. Did you know that these beautiful, distinctive birds who make their nests underground and are frankly drop-dead gorgeous are being deprived of food and forced away from their traditional mating grounds? I mean, how would you feel if somebody said there were no more salted peanuts and that the alley behind the pub was off limits? And it's all to do with pollution and overfishing, human activity that's known as anthropal, um, human activity. But that's really getting bogged down in the science and way over the heads of those people who deny climate change is happening. And talking of Nigel Lawson, See you next Tuesday. And remember, keep it light.